Championship 2017. Und wir freuen uns ein weiteres Mal auf den BDO-Weltmeister von 2006, der aktuell die Nummer 9 der PDC ist. Er hat vier Proto-Turniere gewonnen und er hat seine zweite Premier League-Saison aktuell gespielt. Noch einmal heißen wir ihn willkommen, The Cobra, Jelle Klassen! Die Nummer 9 gegen die aktuelle Nummer 1 der Welt. Er hat ein unglaubliches Jahr 2016 gespielt mit 25 Turniersiegen. Zuletzt ging eine Serie zu Ende, in der er 44 Matches lang ungeschlagen war im TV. Der Weltmeister von 2014 und Weltmeister von 2017, MVG, Mighty Mike, Michael van Gerwen. in Hildesheim and the two and a half thousand fans are ready now for the semi-finals. Michael Van Gogh, well it's no surprise that he's here, the number one seed, the world number one, the world champion and winner of just about everything he entered last year, takes on a fellow Dutchman in Jelle Klaassen. Don't blink because you might well miss it. The last time these two met in the European Tour, Michael Van Gerwen stuck in 115 average against Klaassen, who averaged 107 himself, a 6-2 victory and it was over in little over 10 minutes. Rob Malarkey, we may not be here too long. No stopwatches at the ready for this one, Chris. Michael Van Gerwen, two wins away from a 15th European Tour title of his illustrious career. Jelle Klaassen is two wins away from a first European Tour title of his career, having reached the final here in October. Something has to give. With Van Gerwen, an overwhelming odds on favourite to win this match and to win the title. Gerwin Price and Peter Wright waiting in the wings to make their semi final appearance later. Throw first. Could, could have two Gerwins in the final, could have two players with snake based nicknames in the final. Love it. 140. But the favourite final is Michael Van Gerwen against Peter Wright, which was a a theme for the European Tour Finals last year as well. And whenever it happened, Michael Van Gerwen came out on top. 140. Well, the quarterfinals this evening yielded only 11 180s. Michael Van Gerwen didn't hit one of them. Can he put that right here some point tonight? Not in this particular leg, he won't. Well, Van Gerwen's won the last nine meetings between this pair, including victories on the European Tour. Now look at this. Oh, what a start! We saw Gerwin Price kick off with a 1-4-4 on double 12 in his quarter-final. Now, Michael Van Gerwen kicks off with a 1-3-8, two treble nineteens, double 12. How's that for starters? Sets the tone, doesn't it? And uh, 100. all Yellow Klassen can do here, essentially, he has to hold his throat, and then, should an opportunity arise, 123. he has to take it. But Michael Van Gerwen, you know, he's not unbeatable. 100. Well, he's been beaten this he's year a few times. He's been beaten seven times this year. Oh, sorry. Well, Van Barneveld made it six on Thursday. 41. Yeah, the likes of Willie O'Connor and 100. Richie Edhouse 
amongst the people to beat Michael Van Gerwen. Doesn't hold the UK Open title, but that's partly because he didn't play 60. it. I'm not going to say it's entirely because he didn't play it, because there's no guarantee he would have won. But the man who does hold it will play the man who he beat in the final, in the next semi-final. But yeah, these two met three times on the European Tour last year, and then in the European Championship itself, Van Gerwen won on all of those occasions. 144. Yeah, 10-3 in that European Championship. Van Gerwen here looking at another big finish, but it won't go because he strayed into the treble five bed there. Class. Well, this would do him the world of good if he were to find a 161 check out here, but likewise, that will not happen either. So Van Gerwen is looking at a very realistic opportunity to break the class and throw in the second leg of this match. And he's done precisely that. Leg, he has done precisely that. Third leg, Michael. Well, he was having a bit of trouble first. on the doubles against Gino. Christo Reyes, wasn't he, this afternoon? And he's put that right. He's not missed a, a double yet in this one. Klassen has beat Michael Van Gerwen seven times. In fact, before that run of nine straight 99. wins for Michael Van Gerwen, Klassen led the head to head record. However,. The last one is now over three years ago, it February 2014. The last time that Yellow Klassen came out on top in a match involving this pair. 99. Well, Van Gogh's already seen off one Dutchman this weekend, Jermaine Watamena in the first round, winning that one 6-1. He averaged over 111 in that match. He hit six from 10 of his doubles in that second round encounter. Christo Reyes and Ian White put aside earlier today. 171. And that's as good as a maximum as well for him to get down to 132. But what he did then, Van Gogh, it looked like he was lined up for the treble 20, and he, he realised that I'm on 3 or 3 here and changed his mind because that's a right shot. Now, doesn't get a dart at the ball, and you know he would have gone for 60. it. 72 is the finish that saw Michael Van Gerwen as Klassen applied the pressure saw him win his first Michael world title Wright, against 72. Peter Wright he went 16-16 double top happy memories 52 but not Early to be this Wright, time 24. and Klassen with a chance for a break yes and uh, well he can't afford to pass up opportunities like this that's uh, way off beam he's had to he go to the madhouse but my word that's a great recovery from the yellow class and that could, have, that could have derailed many a player, that sort of errant second dart, but he responded really well. He readjusted very quickly indeed. All right, he's hit the double one, but he's found the single one with his very next dart. 41. Yeah, never been whitewashed by MVG, and he's not going to be today. Klassen, fighting in 180 to settle that 24 finish, and Michael Van Gerwen kicks off as he looks to break straight back with a maximum of his own. Yeah, once again, Klassen strays into the one bed. And 78. Already, Van Gerwen might be thinking about the chance to break again here. 59. Just 59 there, though, from Van Gerwen. 54. And he finally gets that maximum after what probably the longest run of legs in a long time that hasn't seen Michael Van Gerwen fire in. But look at this. All the 18s 162. now. 162. Just to trim that down. Beautiful maths as well from uh, Van Gogh in there. 100. Michael, you're going 100, 100 for an 11 dart break. 48. Phil Klassen way back. 55. Michael, you require 52. So 20 double 16, that's the route for Van Gogh in this he time. Struggled on double Michael 16 Van earlier today. Fifth leg, Michael to throw first. Game on. Van Gogh also looking to end the run of this particular tournament, having a different winner every year. He 140. Won it in 2015, Alan Norris won it last year. Before that, it was Phil Taylor, Dave Chisholm, and Gary Anderson. So he could be the first man to be two time 100. German darts champion. Two-time world champion. Look at the disparity in the averages there. Yellow Carton has been beaten by Michael Van Gogh nine times in a row, but never has the difference been this big. No, that's... 
130. A huge concern for class and followers here. And we see the uh, 18 dart break in leg two. 100. Costly from class in that particular leg. Another ton 80 from Van Gerwen gets him down to one. So it's a 41. Class and responds. It may be too little, too late. Double 16 again here. Well, just mentioned earlier briefly the problems he had with double 16 against Christo Reyes. Nothing like those troubles here tonight. And once again, Klassen strays into the one with his very first dart. Ninety-six. Yeah, Van Gerwen certainly growing into this tournament. Started with a bang yesterday, but then just improved slightly on his second, well, his third round, his second round, but the third round of the tournament. Eighty-three against Ian White, but he maintained he was rubbish. <laughs> and now he's really. Finding his range in this one. Yeah, he certainly is. He may be struggling to break the 10 minute barrier this time around, but it won't be far away if he reels off these next two legs. 140. But Klassen still has something to say and a part to play in this semi final. Well, I've seen him before yeah, now, hit a 180 to leave double one. Opted not to do it that time. He's left 32, and it may have been 60. a wise move because he Why has found that with regularity in this match. Aim short Just to the sick leg. Like a Van Gogh. Radar, isn't it? Absolutely honing in. Like an Exocet missile. Seventh leg, Michael. To throw Whereas first. there were doubts about Aim. his... Uh, Finishing on doubles earlier today just looks almost inevitable now when he lands on double 16. Nine 91. minutes on the clock. He's one leg away here from a place in the final of the German Darts Championship once again. A tournament he won two years ago. 82. Eliminated at the third round stage last year by Daryl Gurney, but he looks as though he's bouncing back this time around here. Look at the stats 16. there. Doubling fantastic. Average fantastic. Peter Wright or Gerwin Price will have to go some to beat this. 87. Oh, on a pinhead. 140. First two darts. Yeah, Not shame, down to a finish, but. Shame he couldn't get down to a 170. It would have been a brilliant way to ice the cake, but. 46. He won't mind about that. He's uh, almost there, Michael Van Gerwen. Yeah, I'm sure he won't just for a 40 here just to leave it. <laughs> well, 56. not much more. Not much more, no, but. Okay, he's down to 154. 58. Michael, you're uh, quite Not getting too much closer either. Well, they've just gone past the time it took them to play out the eight legs last time they met on the European tour. It may only be seven this time. It only and is seven. Match. Michael, Michael Van Gogh absolutely storms through to the final of the first European tour event of this year. 105 average in a demolition of Jelle Klaassen. The world number one is in the final and looks set to clinch title of the first European event for the third consecutive year. Will he be crowned the German Dark champion today or will Peter Wright or Gerwin Price stop him in his tracks? One of them will join him in the final and we will find out which one in a few moments time. So, damit ist nach dem Titelverteidiger Alan Norris jetzt auch der Vorjahresfinalist ausgeschieden mit Jelle Klaassen ein klares 6 zu 1 für die Nummer 1 für Michael van Gerven.